Sometimes you may want to schedule or select a component in a model that is nested into another family. Here I have created a furniture schedule in my project and sorted the furniture types by level. Here is the rectangular dining table. I can see that there is one instance on level one. And if I select in the row and go back to the 3D view, I can see that the family and the chairs are all selected. However, as part of my furniture schedule, I also want to be able to include the chairs associated with the table. So for example, I want to see four chairs here, but if I were to change the type to the extended version, I would see eight. So what I can do is I can edit this table family. I can select a chair. I can edit this family from within the dining table family. And I can select the shared property. I can then load into project and close. I'll load it into the furniture family or dining table family first. And now I'll load this dining table family back into the project. Now I can select on the dining table family and everything looks as it was. The chairs are also included as part of this family when selected. However, if I hover over a chair and press the tab key, I can now select this individual chair inside this project. This means that I can then schedule and tag these chairs separately to this dining table family. So if I now go to the furniture schedule, I can see that under this new line, I have my eight dining chairs. If I go to the, if I tile my windows and I select the dining table family again, and I reduce to the non extended version, you can see how the dining chair number goes from eight to four to represent the new arrangement. So this is how to create a shared family and nest it into a another family. Now I can tab on this chair, for example, select create similar and on say level one, I could then place one, for example, here. And if I go back to my furniture schedule, I have another instance to make the count five. So because this is now a shared family, if I edit the family directly from the project, and let's say I add in some additional supports, say on the front of the chair. like so. I'll add the same material. And then join the geometry. When I now load this family 
back directly into the project and overwrite. I can see that the instance that I placed now has the additional bracing across here and also the families that I let loaded into the dining table also have this across because the family is shared and therefore it's effectively the same family even though it's located on an individual basis in the project and also in the dining table family. So if I were to right click, select all instances in entire project, it has the four families inside the dining table family and also the individual family I've placed by itself. Note that it's not possible to delete or change any of the instance properties for the family nested into the dining table family. I cannot move its position for example. I end up moving the entire table. But I can select edit and I could adjust a property of the type, for example the description, and select OK, and this will have updated all instances of the type in the project, like so. A word of caution, choose whether you want a family to be shared very carefully, as it's not possible to create or change a shared family to non-shared without changing the name of the family. So for example, if I select edit family for the chair, remove the shared property and try to load it back into the project, I get a warning saying that I cannot load a non-shared version. So that means I have to go and rename all the families that I wish to change to be non-shared and depending on the number of families that this affects, this is quite a time consuming process. Also, you may not want all the families nested to be shared. For example, if you were to nest items such as legs or tabletops, you ne don't necessarily want to be able to schedule or tag them individually in the project. So definitely use it with caution and don't apply the shared property to all nested components.